The TNP Prime is the latest generation of appliance tester from Wavecon. The TNP Prime offers a range of ASNZS3760 tests, including Class 1, Class 2, extension lead, ICD, and leakage testing. The TNP Prime can conduct Class 1, Class 2, and extension lead tests on battery power. Let's start with a Class 1 test. The Class 1 test consists of an earth bond and an insulation test. First, conduct the visual inspection and identify what type of appliance you are testing. This is a Class 1 earthed appliance. Next, set up your appliance to be tested based on what test it requires. For Class 1 appliances, you will need the IEC earth clamp. Plug the appliance into the appliance test socket. Attach the earth clamp to an exposed piece of metal on the appliance. Then plug the IEC earth clamp into the IEC return socket. If you are using the WinPats Android app, you can conduct this test directly from the tablet. First, enter the item into your database. From the home screen, tap Add. Fill in the item's details, assign a test sequence, then tap Add Equipment. For this test, select the Class 1 test procedure. You should now be viewing your new item's details. You can also view the details of an existing item by scanning the barcode on the item's tag or searching for the unique barcode. When you are ready, tap Start Test to proceed. Conduct the visual inspection and select the appropriate result. The test will only proceed if the device under test passes the visual inspection. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on your tablet. You can then save the results and print a tag. You can also conduct this test manually. However, your results won't be saved and you won't be able to print a tag. To conduct a manual Class 1 test, navigate to Main Menu A, then press F1. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on screen. Let's do a Class 2 test now. This is for double insulated appliances and consists of an insulation test. Conduct the visual inspection and ensure the appliance is a double insulated appliance. To test Class 2 appliances, you will need the IEC earth clamp as well as an earth braid or mesh. First, plug in the appliance into the appliance test socket. Then plug in the IEC earth clamp to the IEC earth return. Wrap an earth braid or mesh around the appliance to ensure that an insulation reading can be measured. Finally, attach the IEC earth clamp to the mesh or braid. If you are using the WinPats Android app, you can conduct this test directly from the tablet. First, enter the item into your database. From the home screen, tap Add. Fill in the item's details, assign a test sequence, then tap Add Equipment. You should now be viewing your new item's details. When you are ready, tap Start Test to proceed. Conduct the visual inspection and select the appropriate result. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on your tablet. You can then save the results and print a tag. You can also conduct this test manually. However, your results won't be saved and you won't be able to print a tag. To conduct a manual Class 2 test, navigate to Main Menu A, then press F2. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on screen. The extension lead test consists of an earth bond, insulation, continuity and polarity test. First conduct the visual inspection. To test extension leads and power boards, you will need the orange IEC cable. Plug in the extension lead to the appliance test socket. Then plug in the orange IEC cable to the IEC earth return. And finally plug in the orange IEC cable into the extension lead. Don't forget to test each socket when testing power boards. 
If you are using the WinPats Android app, you can conduct this test directly from the tablet. First, enter the item into your database. From the home screen, tap Add. Fill in the item's details, assign a test sequence, then tap Add Equipment. To test extension leads, select the extension lead test procedure. You should now be viewing your new item's details. When you are ready, tap Start Test to proceed. Conduct the visual inspection and select the appropriate result. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on your tablet. If you are testing a power board with multiple outlets, don't forget to test each outlet. Tap Retest to run the test again. Otherwise, you can save the results and print a tag. You can also conduct this test manually. However, your results won't be saved and you won't be able to print a tag. To conduct a manual extension lead test, navigate to main menu A, then press F3. The test will be conducted and the results displayed on screen.